So having said that, uh, all these things, uh, welcome to Power BI online training session. And uh, uh, as part of the agenda, we'll see like what the Power BI is all about uh, and uh, the various product portfolio of Power BI. Then uh, the some glimpse of the Power BI dashboards and the reports and the architecture, and the deployment platform, the workflow, and then it is just to give you an overview of how the Power BI works. So at the end of the session, you will be having the overall theoretical idea on the Power BI. Of course, I will take you to show you some of the uh, real-time product portfolio of Power BI, real-time uh, reports. So you will have a better idea on that. Okay. So what is Power BI? Before uh, that, before to say what is Power BI is all about, I would like to give you an idea about what is BI. So business intelligence is basically, uh, you know, a, a, a tool or a technology. It's not particularly a particular tool. It's a technology. It's a vast area. Whereas Power BI is a part of the business intelligence. So business intelligence is, if I break into these two sentences and in a very layman term, business, okay, and intelligence. Intelligence is knowledge. And the knowledge required to do to make your business success is what the business intelligence is. Okay, so that means uh, it was a small definition, but in a real time scenario, business is get success while you take a right decision at the right time, right? So, how okay. the decision can be made? Basically, the decision can be made on your past experience, and the data experience will come from the data available with you, right? So past experience like you have being a businessman you have running your company since five years you have seen a lot of profit and losses you have seen a lot of hard times and good times so at a particular time what type of decision you should take to keep an employee uh, to procure a product to procure a raw material to invest some amount in some markets how those decisions can be come up based on some reports, some intelligence report, which will give you the idea or which will give you the insight to invest and to take the decision, which will lead your business to a height of success. So that particular decision is come from something which is called as a business intelligence. Okay. And business intelligence deals with the company data. It shows mostly the trends of the past five years, 10 years of your company, the different type of losses, different type of profits, different type of, uh, you know, uh, showing the data in different orientations. So on which you can take a decisions. That's what the business intelligence is. Now, business intelligence area, it's not a particularly a technology. Now coming into technology, Power BI is a business intelligence tool, which is a technology. Okay. So whereas business okay. intelligence is a concept. Now, Power BI is a BI specific to BI tool. So, what is the output of the Power BI? What exactly it does? Before I go to specific to the Power BI, is um, let me tell you the overall, the universal uh, BI tools uh, concept. Mostly, the BI tools deals with the data. Just forget about Power BI. I'm talking about the any BI tool, right? The yeah. practices. Yeah we will follow here in power bi is absolutely same with the practices we will do in any other tool irrespective of it is click view or it is tableau or it is micro strategy or uh, you know, msbi or cognos anything else okay however there are many popular ba tools many popular competitors are there in the market for example click view click sense tableau micro strategy cognos uh, your uh, R, um, then I dashboard. There are many technologies. Okay. Apart from that, Power BI is one of the uh, good tool now in the market being chosen by many employers, and they are still growing. Bing is a proprietary of Microsoft. It's still part in the brand of Microsoft. So definitely, it will run in the market, and it has a great future. Now, if I compare to uh, uh, specific uh, to the Power BI, what good here? What uh, you know, universe unique selling point of the mic the Power BI here, which uh, you know, you know, uh, make us to take the decision uh, to moving into the Power BI uh, technology. So let's see 
Microsoft Power BI is free, uh, Power BI environment is free. This is one of the positive points. However, other BI tools like MicroStrategy and all, they are extremely costly. Okay. Yes. It is a self-service business intelligence tool that helps non-technical business user for analyzing, visualizing, and sharing the data. So basically, uh, uh, Microsoft product is being so popular because of the easiness uh, of the users. However, other operating system of other companies were there, but they came and they gone. But Microsoft is the market leader so far because of its user friendliness. So this is what it is talking about. This BA tool is also can be managed by a non-technical user. Non-technical user in the sense those are managerial users like uh, uh, senior management, VP, uh, you know, directors, uh, then CEOs and all. They far away from the technology. They do the business. They know the business. But how they will deal with your reports? If it would be too difficult to make a slicing and dicing, too difficult to handle, too difficult to analyze, they will not uh, take it forward. They will not take it granted. So this is what the Power BI is. It is so simple to analyze, so simple to make a query, so simple to filtering. And even if a non-technical user can do it and make an analysis. And even they can share the data. So uh, what is the role with this business analysis tool is we will we will not do any transaction. We will not do any data entering to the system the way we are entering any uh, other applications like you know any uh, ERP and all. Business intelligence tool is all about getting the data from the database, extracting the mm -hmm. data from the database, modeling the data or transforming the data in a fine tune mm -hmm presentable format and visualize the data or represent the data in a way mm -hmm. that a management or a high level person can take some decisions. Okay. okay. And we have a lot of parameters like years, quarter, month, employees, departments, uh, products, categories and all. So I will have some standard reports like bar chart, pie chart and all. So in a query, it is difficult to make some ad hoc reporting. Whereas in BA tool, you can simply drag and drop. You can simply select a lot of filters. You can go inside the chart with a drill down. Drill down. You can make a uh, different visualizations. You can see the data in a Google map. So, which will make you more intuitive, uh, uh, you know, abstract of your business. It'll give you more intuitive abstract of your business rather than a normal text report. Okay. So definitely, uh, on the on the fly, I'm giving this example. How many bars are here? There are four bars. Which one is bigger? Definitely, a uh, layman can say this one is bigger. But if I represent those five numbers, like 95, 100, uh, you know, 95, 98, 57, 65. So if I'll ask you to choose the bigger one, someone will take little time to analyze because they'll have to compare four numbers with each other. Likewise, in this case, if you have 40 numbers, it would be difficult for you to analyze. It will take some time. But if that data will be represented in the bar chart or in a pie chart or in line chart, any layman can say, yeah, this one is bigger. So I'm relating this with the real time business like uh, management would see that on which week, which particular customer is my profitable customer. Which particular uh, zone is having uh, you know less demand by this good, so I should not invest more. So those kind of decisions will help them to take business to the next level. That's what the Power BI and business intelligence tool is required. So specific to Power BI, what else is uh, here? Power BI is uh, connect to hundreds of data source. While I'm thinking, of, while I'm talking about the connecting data, then there may be a chance that some data cannot be connected to the specific BA tool. So in that case, if BA tool is completely, uh, you know, got lost. So we need to see that all the data sources in the world available in the market, like SQL Server, Oracle, MS uh, Access, uh, you know, MySQL, PostgreSQL, any data, you know, all the data can be connected and can be pulled from Power BI 
that's the beauty so okay all the data I'm, I'm, I'm just clicking here see the list of the databases here you can see every data and not only the sql server oracle and all but also any flat file databases like my uh, excel see this is the list of the databases in mm -hmm. top of the flat files you have excel all the flat files all the uh, like excel uh, a text file uh, xml json uh, and then in term of the database sql server access oracle ibm db2 mysql postgresql everything okay. so those are and then cloud databases like sql server azure uh, amazon web services every database can be connected google analysis salesforce these are all the uh, your uh, uh, public and then um, cloud databases like even the data from the facebook linkedin or any third party businesses you can connect data from there so that there is no restriction so this presentation i'll share with you you can have a detailed uh, you know, insight from this so that's one the positive point and then that is beautiful reports yeah hello Vikram here yeah please hello Amit Vikram here I, I have a question if you don't mind sure please so how is the performance of power bi mm -hmm. when it connects to say post basically okay uh, or 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 say any kind of you know mpt okay yeah, it's, because, no, I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, please complete. Yeah, so I have seen like Formos doing very good when it connects to different data sources and able to pull like millions of reports. However, I'm not sure if Power BI is able to do that or it is struggles. And, no, Power BI is uh, still evolution. I mean, uh, evolving in the market. I uh, I cannot say uh, it's being a proven product like uh, MicroStrategy or like Cognos. It's uh, though it is new to the market. It's it's not so old. It's being only five uh, six years. Uh, it's being in the market, even even very less, because earlier version was the MSBI, and to beat uh, that MSBI, which is uh, very. Uh, Mm, not uh, not so good in the visualizations power we introduce and uh, they are also frequently coming up with the new releases but yes as for the current release the data uh, bulkiness of the data uh, is, is is not so issue with the power bi it is good it is lightweight i mean as compared to various uh, type of uh, database and the looking into the different case studies i cannot comment on that but in terms of the SQL Server as for the Microsoft proprietaries, it's been good. It's been proven as very good. And uh, right. I saw in Oracle, I saw in MySQL. But looking into so the various case studies also, they are uh, you know continuously evolving. And uh, it, future is good. It's it's a growing product. It's not being grown up. It's not been proven so far. Not like yeah, uh, yeah. 1993. Since 1993, ClickU has been introduced, and they have more than 20,000 clients. And yeah, MicroStrategy yeah. is being introduced in around 1986. Okay, it's so so old. And Click yeah, yeah. Tableau is 1997. See, they have been uh, doing the business since 20 years, and they have grown up like anything. They have taken their multiple releases, uh, but my uh, Power BI is not being given three four years. <laughs> Uh, but right. though it is Microsoft proprietary, it has a good future and evolutions, they are still evolving and uh, still uh, some, um, um, you know, um, merits and demerits are there that need to be compared and they are, that's why they have come up with yes. this version. And the most uh, better thing is my it's it's free of cost available. Uh, if you have a, a, a Azure uh, uh, environment also, you can host it there to uh, deploy whereas as compared to uh, click you on micro study it is too much costly very costly yeah, right. a small enterprise cannot uh, uh, you know uh, take them whereas 
uh, uh, Power BI is mean for the small as well as the intermediate and big uh, enterprise. Does, so, does Power BI comes free like? It comes in a package like Office 365 and get it free. I'm sorry, come again. The Power BI is free, like. No, it has uh, two versions. Basically, from the desktop side, uh, Power BI, right. I am taking to the portfolio actually Power BI desktop, Power BI premium. Mm -hmm. Both are kind of development environment actually. Power BI desktop is uh, free. Power premium is a payable, I mean, um, it's a proprietary, it's payable. But there are some, uh, uh, you know, uh, limits which has been uh, uh, overcome there or which has been omitted there uh, in terms of the handling yeah. with the bulk data, in terms of uh, handling with some some feature uh, security restrictions, which is premium. And uh, for small and intermediate uh, enterprise, uh, Power BI development uh, platform is a suffice you know millions of right. record processing millions of records is not all uh, issue in power bi so far the rest uh, is going forward to very big if your business is too large running since 10 years then you need to think of the performance tuning so in that case we cannot assure <laughs> here right yeah. yeah no so for this training purpose we yeah, will need to install power bi desktop or the platform Power Bill desktop. Power Bill desktop only. Mm -hmm. uh, she can okay. also download. Uh, so that's the beauty. I mean, we don't have to basically uh, procure any uh, uh, licensed software. Power Bill desktop okay. is free open source. So, right. Okay. Okay. She, okay. Can, uh, yeah, she can download. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So uh, on the left side, I have in the left side, these are the various type of data sources with me. Uh, the feeds. Basically, the data input to Power BI can be a table or can be a data mart. Okay, so uh, so as you can see here, I have on-premises databases. Just assume one is SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, and this is a, a SharePoint uh, database. These are all Excel flat files. These are all cloud databases. These are all uh, Google BigQuery, Azure. So those all are the uh, cloud databases can be uh, input feed to Power BI to extract the data to make the reporting. And also from my right side, I have SQL Server Analytics Services. So uh, SQL Server Analysis Services is basically used to create the views or to create the data maps. I mean, by connecting to multiple tables, you can create a data mart which would be a kind of schema okay say 20 30 tables are joined together and form a fine tune result set which is can be easily represented for visualizations so despite of uh, creating uh, the views manually if you have already uh, the uh, ssas uh, schemas you can directly uh, pull it so just because of microsoft thought this is the next version of your uh, MSBI. So what about old uh, MSBI applications? They should be instantly be called here. So that's why uh, SSAS, which is a product of the MSBI. In Microsoft VA, there are three products. One is SSIS, SQL Server Integration Services, which is an ATL. Second is SSAS, which is basically a query builder or a data modeling tool which is this one. The output of SSAS is you will form a data model which is called cube or data mart. You can ask me any foolish question. Uh, don't be confused. Anywhere you stuck up, just ask me. Okay. If at all you are keeping so, in mind also, you can um, you know, uh, write it down or we have a separate session for our question answers. So, Amit, yeah. can you share this presentation? Yeah, I will definitely share. Okay, I'll share with you. You can just drop me your email ID in the chat. I will uh, share with you. And uh, so uh, this can be the feeds to just uh, migrate from the report, migrate report from the MSBA to uh, Power BI. Uh, they have using this SSAS uh, data maths uh, to the as an input. And then the outputs in terms of the output, you have the various output like data sets, 
reports and dashboards so this data set can be used for a data mining simply you can query uh, records from there and then you can have a reports like i will show you some reports some excel reporting some pdf reporting and dashboards which can be easily be seen uh, through the uh, web uh, portal and dashboards are basically some interactive uh, screens composed of uh, tabular uh, and graphical reports and user can make a slicing and dicing to simply play with the data i mean what is the difference between a report and a dashboard i'll share you a report uh, basically uh, some uh, pdf reports some word some excels there are the limitations there are a lot of limitations like you can see the data you cannot make analytics you can make simple analysis the difference between analysis and analytics is you can see some report you can take some decision on that that's what we call as analysis but analytics is you can see as well as you can talk with the report by you know selecting by inputting your parameter by entering your uh, specific date ranges by selecting some sliders okay i mean you you can see your measure in different angles that is what we call as analytics which is the next generation of analysis okay so that's why every bi tool is also called as analytics tool you heard about it right why it is called analytics tool why it is not called analysis tool okay so that is what the analytics is so in the dashboard you can do analytics whereas in report you can have a simple analysis dashboard is better for understanding now these are all the output of the power bi which can also be shared in the power bi cloud and from there it can be accessed from the mobiles from the tablets from the uh, dashboards bi dashboards so this is pretty much about the architecture of the power bi i hope you are clear on this right yes okay looking into the presentation also you will you try to understand slowly uh, you will have a better clarity in that now three respective uh, perspective of the data in power bi basically what we have the data with us uh, you know reactive reporting common amongst most companies those data as are and presently what we are happening we are not having the data in form of the rough format we have in form of the kpis kpis means key performance indicator so any it's a technical term any chart any report any uh, object of a bi which gives you some decisions some information to take decision that's what we call as a kpi is also called key performance indicator and what is cpm cpm basically a uh, key a uh, prop uh, I mean, uh, sorry, a uh, common performance in measure. Common performance measure. Common performance common. measure. Okay. So uh, some measures, yeah. So like uh, basically, uh, 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 what can you say? The predictive analytics kind of thing, like uh, which will uh, 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 give you some idea for the, uh, uh, you know. Um, Um, yeah, from for futures, so that's those are called as the CPMs, and streaming analysis like shows the trends. Okay, uh, like uh, every month, what was your uh, your business growth? What was the downfall? What is the reference line? What was the average? So those are all the streaming analysis. This is how uh, in coin, you know, current era, in nowadays the data is happening, and futures. in future we will also like to show some uh, advance analytics like predict based on the trends we have i have a data of 5 years but i can see the reports based on the data which is available with me but which is not available with me that is what we call as a prediction so those reports are called as a predictive analytics or forecasting every bi tool mostly focusing on those reports anybody can create the report on your existing data but the bi tool must project that in 5 years down the line or one year down the line what would be your business growth or downfall that decision also can be uh, you know taken by a business analytics tool from your past data experience there are many different algorithms are there which gives the decision on that front 
so these are all the future of our analytics now coming to power bi uh, uh, port product portfolio there are basically four products uh, power bi desktop as i said it is free to download and uh, you know you can start your bi experience not all technical uh, knowledge is needed for this you can extract the data by using power bi model the data and design the dashboard you can do transforms and cleanings all those stuff you can do this so this is how the power bi desktops looks like you can get the data you have to connect the data from this uh, you know button and you have various database option and then you can resize the data there and find them you can edit the queries to build the reporting here and there are various um, you know visualization tools which will be used to draw your dashboard and there are many things so uh, if you go more deeper you have a better insight on this we'll definitely go with this uh, on the real time sessions and this is how the dashboard looks like i have a data but see what better decision this is basically target versus actual analysis this is country wise uh, say some uh, measures country wise profit or country wise discounts you can see where exactly the country is also locating you can have a idea and then these are all the bar charts these are bubble charts this is basically a gauge chart uh, these are all the stack bar chart pie chart um, you know gis analysis so this is called network chart gauge chart this is word cloud this is radar chart this is bullet chart which is used for the project monitoring and all so the various type of beautiful reports can be generated through micro uh, power bi micro power bi these are all the how the dashboard looks like yeah now coming to power bi server it was all over the power bi desktop where you, you basically use for the development environment now what about the production environment or the live environment will the management would install power bi in their laptops no the answer is no you can simply deploy your power bi dashboard to power bi report server which is a web based interface you need a subscription you can have installation on your own premises as well as on microsoft power bi cloud as well okay so there you need to publish your dashboard as a result any third party can be uh, can uh, see your dashboard experience from the remote system without installing power bi desktop interface this is basically a host hosting platform okay power bi report server gives you the access to the data from a central hosted platform so this is server administration part and this is an end user uh, uh, you know interface mobile so power bi mobile is another app you can download it from the itunes or android uh, mark play store uh, when you download a dashboard it is one time downloading of a dashboard then after that if your data is lost from the server you can still see your dashboard with your mobile so it's kind of offline data storage and processing there okay you can use uh, your mobile browser to access a power bi dashboard but this is much more better because it's a power bi mobile where you'll get some more interactive uh, features like some animations which is not available in the web and power bi embedded this is a fourth product which basically say you are creating a java based application you are creating a dotnet application or you have a sap or any third party applications where you don't want to uh, waste the time for reporting building reporting in power bi is super easy you can simply drag and drop with a very small sort of coding so you can create a good number of dashboards with short time which is extremely difficult in the programming language so uh, you deploy your dashboard in the uh, uh, you know report server now if you want to show your reports in any of your web portal then you can power bi is from power bi uh, embedded uh, software you can create the web services or api which can be coded in any java application php application or any third party application 
there you can see power bi dashboard reports in their frame make sense mm -hmm. not completely okay okay so basically uh, you know what what is web service okay all right uh, i mean say uh, i'm giving an example in your website you are adding some apis of uh, social media have you noticed this when you click on that yes it is posting in facebook mm. what is that that is called api or web service web service of facebook okay. in your website you are adding some uh, you know skype button that is also website if you clicking it that it will directly uh, you know call uh, from skype so that means mm -hmm. inter, you know integrating one applications feature in another application is called as a integration okay so through yeah. this uh, power bi embedded you can integrate your analytics or your report in another software okay yes, the reporting is not available mm -hmm. you do reporting in power bi but you provide your analytics uh, api to integrate with another website where that api this feature is not available so they can see the data just assume data is separate but you have one mm -hmm. business application core application another is reporting you can in talk with each other through this embedding model okay. okay so don't be confused in a real time scenario we will be covering all the stuffs just to give an idea it's in the today's demo session yes okay. so roles of an organizations uh, basically you have a must have a data layer you have various type of databases and then semantic layer basically it is called as a data modeling where uh, you have to collect to data and bringing some data on board and then you have to model the data you have to first organize the data as you have 20 30 tables from your database so your uh, management would ask you to create a report on that you have to first in the first layer data layer you have to connect to that data bring the data on board and you have to join those tables together to form a data model where you can see all the data in a single frame in a textual data then finally the presentation layer where bi designer power user all those concepts will come up uh, where you will have to represent those data and, and you know visualize basically you have to drag and drop and uh, create some charts create some reports so those kind of reporting you will do you will never do any uh, data posting to database it's only one, one way getting from the data from the database and showing into the bi layer to take decisions only reporting visualization activity will be cover in the entire session okay yeah. so as as i said this is uh, again the same steps the entire session will be covering discovering the data designing the data basically you are creating multi dimensional mod model i mean data modeling creating views and all okay creating data pre making data preparation and developing reports where you will develop the data model and dashboards in the power bi and visualize the data and creating creating the reports and finally you have to deploy it you have to deploy it to a central server so that n number of users can access your dashboard centrally and concurrently to see your report on the same time so in the entire session these four activity will be covered Are you getting any, um, you know, idea on that? Any question? Not yet. Okay. So this is very, very high level information is given in the demonstration, and then I, I can understand you have some gaps. So we'll be covering those in the SQL Server part. The SQL Server part: what is the data mart? What is the views? What is the store procedures? what is uh, all those tables all this will be covered so that when you come back to this bi side you have a better clarity on that and on every session yeah. we'll be providing in the uh, the recording of the session so that you have a mm -hmm. better understanding so this is pretty much about the theoretical part 
I will not take much time to uh, show you uh, some uh, you know Power BI report samples. See some sample dashboards, some financial reports, some sales and marketing reports. This is the HR, HR report. So Power BI report can be distributed to anyone uh, uh, in form of this Excel also. Because Excel is also elementary uh, BI tool where Power BI can be shared in that way in form of Excel and there only it will connect to the power bi interface see this beautiful report we have see i i may have a simple uh, text you know um, tabular report but what the benefit is giving in this, uh, uh, you know, visual report to me. This you have. This is a uh, line chart. This is a bar chart. This is a multi-dimensional bar chart, which is giving me a comparison between two uh, basically dimensions. If I'm selecting this, I can make a slicing and dicing of the data. I can select multiple uh, data. Based on that, you can see my uh, other reports are getting reflected. See, it is a see how beautiful it is. This is showing country or state wise uh, profits or state wise analytics, YTD year to date uh, of states. So, two parameters are showing here with again internal pie charts. Can it be done without any BA tool? No, it is difficult. These are all the line chart representation. If at all I'm, I have filters here, I can simply select all those activities that are completed. Yes, those are completed that will be reflected here. Those are not completed will not be reflected. Manufacturer, those manufacturers are my favorite. I will just try to filter it out. Accordingly, my dashboard will instantly show me the information. See, I have a very bulk data in this uh, data set. Still, the performance of the Power BI is too good. Instantly, it is showing. It is not taking little time to filter it out also. Okay. Uh, Amit? Yeah, please. Let's come again. Yeah. So, this data, are you... Is Power BI reading from... Well, from the database. Yeah, so it has become a embedded. Uh, uh, it's a kind of uh, embedded source which is being um, added, and the output uh, is here the Excel, and uh, there's an add-on of Power BI called Power View, which is added here, and the Excel interface is uh, just a virtualization, and where the Power View is showing the Power BI dashboard. By power Q, you mean power Q? Here we have power view. Okay. So, even if uh, um, a person do not have a power BI, so this add on uh, can be instantly downloaded to the system and anyone can see the report. Okay. Even if I will share with you or any, uh, any other client which may not have a power BI environment, they can also see this because I have this. Power View extension. So this is the beauty because Microsoft uh, environment is there everywhere in all the oh, machines. So Microsoft is added this feature and not make a restriction with the Power BI that you must have a Power BI environment to open this. So it is basically you can stretch this uh, chart, you can you know maximize this chart, but your data, whatever the data I'm sharing with you, the data is already embedded in, in the Excel sheet as well as the data is. This this visual interface is coming from the Power View extension. When a person open it, 
the extension is automatically downloaded to its machine and you can see the dashboard the power view is is embedded in the Power BI desktop as well, or only in the it's a it's Power BI desktop for small extension. You cannot basically edit this report. In order to edit it, we need to have a Power BI desktop. Okay. okay. To view it, uh, you need to have a this thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much about uh, the demonstration side uh, um, and I hope uh, you have enjoyed the session and I would like to have your feedback and hopefully you are expecting to meet in the live session. So thank you so much. Bye bye. Uh, have a nice day. Yeah. Amit? Yeah, please. Amit? Yeah. So I have a very quick question. Yes, please, please. Uh, so what we agreed just to recap. Uh, oh. That we have sessions on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 9 30 p.m. Right. Right? Yes. Uh, we will, so I think from Priya's uh, view, uh, it's better that first we start with SQL Server. So, so okay. we can right. replace and, and yeah, okay. so like first three class, let's have for SQL Server, okay. and we will send a mail. Uh, regarding the topics you want to touch base, but I think it will be like you know creating those views and uh, doing some simple queries and the rest of procedures and functions. Okay. Okay. All right. right. So this is my email ID is also there. I yeah. 